Another sunny and warm spring day in the great Northwest and a last opportunity for a month to these fans to see the Rose City 11 and Mother's Day as well. The moms are out in force to support their side. It's a big opportunity for three points for the Portland Timbers today against Chivas USA. Back into the team also, as we mentioned, the open at Darlington Navy and Diego Valeri. They want a lot of switching between those two, says Caleb Porter, trying to exploit what they can from Chivas USA. Pivot changes for them for the team that lost 4-0 at Kansas City last Sunday. Patrick McClay making his first professional start. So the first choice, green and white. It's Chivas USA in the traditional red and white stripes of their brothers in Guadalajara. And we're underway. Kick off today brought to you by program. And Patrick McClain, first save of his MLS career tipping over. Well, we talked about rotation, Diego Valeri coming in at the far post. I've got to tell you, that's a great save from the young keeper. Didn't make a save late on against Kansas City. It's working hard, but doesn't win anything out of that. Johnson, Valeri on the turn. He's got footy running up there. It's a through ball. It's offside. Flag is up. Play is dead. Footy taking a knock there from McLean it does not count for a goal and footy now down and again this is a position the Timbers can't afford to be having players down but he's getting back to his feet well there's a collision but in fairness he was brave footy as we'd expect got there but initially he might have been onside certainly Jonathan Nugby was off but footy himself had just gone a little bit too early you see as the ball's delivered Chief has to hold a good line keeper comes out and he's a it's a good finish too what a good finish. Valeri. Carlos Boya follows Valeri wherever he goes. Jewsbury flicks it on for Nagby, who's onside. Nagby, back across. Jewsbury is cross. Oh, what a header by Johnson. He to get something on it. It was right in the chest of McLean. But great work by Ryan Johnson to turn that on frame somehow. We talked about the ability for Jack Jewsbury to influence the game from this area. Does well, just drifts the ball into near post. And that's a good header from Ryan Johnson, the cute angle. Ball rather hit the cubitively as a team, just that will to, to take that extra step and, and get the finish. Char now as the Timbers again look to break with speed. What a flip by Johnson to find Nagby. He's got Wallace running in front of him. Goes wide for Valeri. Valeri working on Deluna, cuts around, shoots off the post! Johnson keeps it in play. McLean covers up. Diego Valeri. Or something really special puts it off the crossbar. Well, that's six inches away from one of the goals of the season. He puts it behind Chara, falls for Johnson, over the top Wallace. He's onside, controls in his head. Wallace scores! <laughs> Scored by Wallace, made by Donovan Ricketts. It's all about the counter attack. This is just about as good as it gets. Because a minute earlier the Timbers were dealing with the corner. Now what's Donovan Ricketts? There's the throw. Now it's about counter-attack. Now it's about support runs ahead of the ball. Rodney Wallace timed his run to protection and he's got the control just to lift it over the goalkeeper. It's all about the composure and the confidence that Rodney Wallace is playing with now. It was never in doubt. Goal this year for Ronnie Wallace. Alone from the parent club in Guadalajara to take. Well, perhaps not as Giovanni Casillas. Similarly on loan from Guadalajara. Just makes a pass on the ball over there. Mejia will send it in. Again back post. Header Ricketts. Good catch in traffic. Can the Timbers score off of the second Chivas corner kick? Char wins the ball in the center. Trying to accelerate now. Johnson may have taken that away from Valeri. The return wide for Wallace. Charles in the center. Wallace fires himself. It's punched away. And effort it's in for score. Well, he tried to catch the keeper on the way. Rodney Wallace. Everybody was expecting the cross into the middle. And such is the confidence. He's, he almost pretends he's going to cross and then aims it for that near post. Furnace to the keeper. He wasn't fooled. Had his angles right. Decent save. Just got the sense the Timbers might need a little change. Good work by Nagy, who's about to be set off, trying to play through for Ryan Johnson. Holds off Purdy shoulder to shoulder. 
Extra an angle, last chance for him to make an imprint. Wallace on the turn. Wallace at the two, Valerius outside, and Valerius scored! And the Timbers do finally have their second! Well, again, what a beautiful goal that is! Two players on the same wavelength. It's a confident Rodney Wallace. Look at it when he gets turns here. He slips this ball into the eye of an eagle. Well, he's clearly onside and, well, he wasn't going to panic when he gets there. It's a beautiful ball, cuts out three, four GBAF players. And Valeri does the rest. The big goal, the big sigh relief here at the Jeldwen. Games on the road would be almost a bit of fear and trepidation. Those days are gone now. This team feel they can go on the road and get results as well. Don't put it coming together there. And Mario Deluna pushing over Wallace, they're pushing away a ball boy trying to get a ball. And Petrescu, the referee, having to sort this one out. Mejia also on his face, Deluna. Yellow card, he's going to be suspended for the next match against Real Real Salt Lake. In fairness, there's a nice from Chalice, just having a word with his players, just gone over to the young man, the, the ball boy, and made sure he's okay. Something like that in England, wasn't it? A Chelsea player on the ball boy. Slightly different circumstances, perhaps. Yep. That was the win that really sparked the beginning of that 2011 season. All the success. Alessandro plays it through for Picciotto. Johnson in the box. Picciotto rolls to the front. Will Johnson save McLean out for a corner. Well, it was good enough pressure from the Chivas defense. The game Timbers picked the way through. Picciotto just feeds it into the path of Johnson. It's headed towards the corner, needed to be saved. Will Johnson, that's inside Borja, Will Johnson fires, oh, sensational for Will Johnson, career high for goals, 3-0. Well, mother and Sunday, there is the icing on the cake. The captain who's been much more of a defensive influence on this team, well, it's a lovely corner routine, and they get Johnson free, and well, he's got the... The power and the technique to leave McLean gasping at thin air. And that's just about the perfect Sunday result for the Timbers. Look how he bends that ball. He's aiming towards the far post. And he knows if he can get it past the goalkeeper, he's going to come in towards the goal. One part left to play. It's referee Silvio Petrescu looking at his watch. Blowing for full time. Exactly what this team needed, exactly what this team wanted. 3-0 the win over Chivas USA.